Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing amazing. There is a usual saying that the best way to answer critics is always by showing them. And today with multiple releases, Bioware is showing players that they are dedicated to their game and that they will be constantly updating the game from day one. And that they will not just be sitting there having you wait for 10 months without content, no very soon statement, you actually have a date. They are coming out the gate with plans for the future of Anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, I had to do it. This is the official release of the Anthem roadmap. And if you know how hard it is to know this information ahead of time and only be able to drop hints, it was really hard. This is the very beginning. If you have ever played games like Path of Exiles or games like Guild Wars or Diablo, then you will see some similarities here. Bioware has been known for their storytelling capabilities and the post launch content will be dropped as acts. Acts 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. This also brings in a big level of progression in the game. Before I start with the act breakdowns, know that the story updates will be free to play, so players will not be alienated from any point in the game. So with that out of the way, let's begin. Post-launch work is going to be divided into two categories. You have the story content, which are the act-based content, and then you have the technical stuff, which are fixes and other additions. First, with the technical stuff. These are the things that will be constantly happening across all updates, control fixes, UI changes or patches, the new reward system, which will be added to the game. You have new strong goals, which will be added as well. Some of those strong goals will be attached to stories, but you will have new ones added. Guilds will be added to the game. Leaderboards will be added for top guilds or top freelancers or different activities. New missions will be added as well. And of course, you will have the occasional cataclysm events, which will include rate stuff for every single act or every single chapter. You will see some of these things come in after each weekly reset or with the beginning or the start of a new act. In terms of story, they are sectioned off by acts. The act one is going to be the first phase. And remember that I had a phase one in the title of my end game video. This is going to be phase one. The act one updates will start in March, considering that the game starts at the end of February. This is also when the raid stuff will begin to come into the game. So you can expect most players to be at a higher level by that time. And in the echoes of reality update, you have the evolving world which will bring a new real-time events and changes to anthem stronger together will bring a prelude to the story of the scar faction the third update will introduce the cataclysm main event the anthem comics will also be introduced so players can keep up with the stories as the game evolve Act 1 will be mostly about introducing players to Anthem, what will be called the surface lore of the game. Act 2, which will come out later on in the year, will probably come in 3 months after Act 1, and Act 2 will bring upon the full dive into the Scars Faction lore. I already have some lore about the Scars Faction, so I will have that link below so you don't miss it. This is where you will get to learn about the Scar Faction's original homeworld and the planets that they have visited, including this very planet, which is Bastion. Act 3 will be diving into the stories of the Bastion royal families, Elena Tarsis, her husband Garrett, Arden Versa, and there's also a possibility that the Monitor is Helena's husband acting out on revenge. So Act 3 will be going deeply into the Legion of Dawn lore. We will be able to learn more about the stories of these individuals, their act of Valor, and even other forms of lore that were never revealed in the trailer or in the entries. Act 3 is what will usually close out the year of 2019. Because the game launches on the 22nd of this month, you can expect that these updates will be added on the 22nd of each month, and the new act beginning on the 22nd of every 3 months. Within this update, we will also be able to see the introduction of new javelins, maybe later on this year or at the beginning of next year. My guess is that it will be connected to the Scar faction or any other faction, we got the Dominion Javelin, we got the Corvus one, we got the Freelancer Basics, which are the Ranger and the Colossus, and the next ones will probably be Shaper or Scar based or Nature Skins for the Javelins. So if you don't get Anthem on day one 
it's okay because when you finally join the game, you will still have to play through Acts 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. So to all the provocateur channels out there on YouTube who had so many things to say, they said they had an inside source. Apparently, that inside source was them and they were probably lying. Now, while Anthem is filled with lots of combat and diverse movement, it also has a strong narrative. It's a strong narratively driven game. Echoes of Reality will begin towards the end of March, but until then, expect more videos, guides, news, and most especially lore about Anthem. Thanks for watching. This is Dia signing out. I'll see you in the next one.